Hello, my name is Kurt Spackman, and I'm a technical support engineer here at ACI. Today I'll be explaining how our line of differential pressure transmitters, when combined with a simple pitot tube, can be used to calculate airflow volume within ductwork. Calculating airflow volume in your PLC or your building management system based on the output of a differential pressure transmitter can cost a fraction of what it would be if you were to purchase an expensive air velocity or CFM monitor. In this video, I'll explain how to use the output from a differential pressure sensor and simple math to find the variables in the following equation used to calculate flow volume. CFM equals FPM or flow velocity times the duct cross-sectional area. Finding the flow velocity, typically expressed in feet per minute, is the first step in filling in our equation variables. To find the flow velocity, we use the equation FPM equals 4,005 times the square root of the velocity pressure. The velocity pressure value will be provided by either ACI's DLP or MLP2 differential pressure transmitter, paired with a PT differential pitot tube installed in the duct. The PT is an ABS plastic pitot tube that comes in 3, 5.2, 7.5, and 9.7 inch lengths. The insertion depth should cover as much of the width of the duct as possible without touching the other side. There are multiple sampling points throughout the span of the PT with the number of the sampling points depending on the length of the PT. The difference between the total pressure reading monitored at the H port of the PT and the static pressure monitored at the L port is the velocity pressure. Here is a table showing our recommended insertion lengths by duct size. The differential pressure transmitter output provides the velocity pressure to be used in our equation. If a velocity pressure of 0.45 inches of water column is measured by our pressure transmitter and entered into our equation, we see that the flow velocity is 2,686 feet per minute. Our flow velocity solution can now be inserted into our equation used to calculate flow volume in CFM. Next, we need to determine our duct cross-sectional area. There are two equations for determining a cross-sectional area of a duct one to be used for square or rectangular duct, and the other to be used for round duct. The equation for square or rectangular duct is A equals X times Y, with A being the duct cross-sectional area, X the duct height in feet, and Y the duct width in feet. The equation for round duct is A equals pi times R squared. Again, A being the duct cross-sectional area and R being the radius of the duct in feet. For example, if we have a round 14-inch diameter duct, the radius is half that, or 7 inches, which converts to 0.585 feet. Substituting our values into the equation, we see that the duct cross-sectional area equals pi, or 3.14159 times our radius, 0.585 squared, giving us a solution of 1.07 square feet. Now that we've calculated our flow velocity and our duct cross-sectional area, we can calculate airflow in CFM for our 14-inch diameter duct. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions regarding this video or any of ACI's products, feel free to contact us at 888-967-5224 or click the chat button at the bottom of any page on our website at workaci.com. Offering a great selection of pressure transmitters and monitoring accessories is just another way ACI is engineering a better sensor solution.